Previously on the Cloud's Daughters. Pack up your things and get off the property. Excuse me? You're fired, the lot of you. Jody, he raped me. Anything I do to him won't be enough. You're a bloody thief. I said no, you've heard the word before, Brian. People know what you are. Go back! Ah! Do you know who attacked Becky? Because I think it was Brian from the hotel. Yeah, that's right. I've known Brian for years. He's a good bloke. It couldn't have been Brian. cattle did they take? Alex said a full truck. About a hundred. It was not just Kalani. It was the Browns last week. It's our missing sheep. If I get my hands on those thieves before the cops do, well, this place is so big they could come in anywhere. We're going to have to step up security. Get extra boundary rides. I mean, Kalani might be up right off the loss, but there's no way we can. West Hess, I didn't say I was going to milk Madonna every morning. Um, I don't know. I think she's gone off to help Claire with the sheep or something. Hang on a sec. I've got a lot on today. I wouldn't mind a hand. I can't. I'm helping Becky fix the pump line. She's waiting for me. Oh, hey, the kitchen tap's leaking. I couldn't turn it off. I think it needs a new washer thingy. Oh, did you know the septic's overflowing again? I still don't get how putting a backpack on upside down is going to help the mate. It doesn't help the mate. Shows us which sheep is made at wit. Oh. Don't they look cute? It's like they're going off to school. Oh, they're going off for the chop if they don't get on with the job. It's Red River. Uh oh. It's the cops. Huh? It's the cops. Don't say a word, leave it to me, okay? Morning. Morning, ladies. Morning. It wasn't Becky's fault the gun just went off. Had some trouble with the gun, have you? Nothing I can't handle. Hit anything? Important. Got to be careful with firearms. I'm actually looking for Claire. You know where she might be? Exactly which part of don't say a word do you not understand? I'm sorry. Okay, you just did that deadpan cop thing and I folded. Did you see his eyes, Beck? He knows. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He was basically saying that he knows you shot Brian. There you go, Mr. Pink. Not a very manly cover, I know. 
Mr. Blue is very keen. My money's on him. Yes. Joe. Hi. I found your stolen sheep. Why well, have you arrested the bastards? Who are they? I'd like to get my hands on them. Uh, the park ranger found them wandering in the national park next door. He rang me when you didn't return his messages. So, the sheep weren't stolen? Seems not. So, it wasn't the Kalani rustlers? Doesn't look like it. So you were wrong. Maybe this sheep were trying to make a break for freedom. Set us free! Set us free! It's to be a break along the boundary fence. I'll round the sheep up and find the hole. Settle up! Sheep gone walk about the National Park. Ah, so it wasn't the Kalani duffers then. I hope you can do it without me. I've got a full day as it is. Need all hands? Fine. I'll just leave the washing and the cooking and the cleaning and the safety valve on the bilge pump and pop off and settle up, shall I? Maybe it's PMT. <coughs> grass, grass, grass. Trees, 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 big fat hole in the fans that I have fixed myself, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Oscar. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hello? Anyone home? Woo! What do you think you're doing? Oh. oh, oh! you should have seen the look on your face. What, what, you think I was going to shoot you? <sighs> Silly me. Um, who are you? Sidney Angus Connolly. Call me Sid. Um, see, there's something dead on your shoulder. Rabbits. What are you doing out here? I live here. On Drivers Run? I, I, I was head stockman until I injured me back. That was in... 88. You've lived out here alone since then? I'm not alone. Oh. So you're married? No, no, I never married. Well, then. Oh, I have the rabbits. And the stars and the moon. Kangaroos. How can I be alone? Now, anyone else would have turfed a bloke out. Not Jack McLeod. You knew my father? You're the one who went away, aren't you? Tess. He was real upset about that. Who was Jack anyway? Why didn't you tell me about him? I hoped he died. What? He's gorgeous. The man's a crackpot. Mad as a hatter. Or he's going on about flashing lights and aliens. Probably she's perfectly normal and completely harmless. Really? Harmless? Did he happen to be skinning any of my sheep? He skinned a rabbit. So there are no sheep skins hanging outside that dump of his. Did you know that he knew Jack? 
Of course he knew Dad. He worked here. Anyway, um, I thought it might be a nice no. idea. I haven't even said it yet. You don't have to. Sydney is not coming here for lunch, dinner or anything else. Mum, would you mind putting the kettle on? Yes, I would mind. I've had it. I want a bath and a book. I want to read a book. What did I say? And I don't want to do it here. Meg, I can take you into town. I've got to pick up some bags of feed from Stockton Rural. Becky, I'll need a hand. Sure. Well, well I want to come too. Tess, you coming? Ah, oh, no, 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 I don't think I will. I might just... Wash my hair, I think. What are you waiting for? I'll be staying here till further notice. Don't ring me. Do you think she's coming back? Yeah. Well, I'm starving. Let's have lunch. Oh, we could try that Chinese place. Um, what's wrong with here? What? Hey, they still do the best seafood platter in a 400k radius. And Brian. If I want to eat at the pub, I'll eat at the pub. Well, I don't mind having Chinese for a change. I like calamari. You sure? Yes. Hey, hey, Clay. Brian, you do something to your leg. <laughs> Brian. A three beers when you're ready. Just over playing four. Sure. Where do you want them? Top shelf, I thought. Want a hand? Yeah, that'd be good. Haven't too much hair, alright? Yeah, it's all fresh, me. <laughs> Guess where I am? Gungellan, the pub room five. That's right, the honeymoon suite. How soon can you get here? Oh, good. Gives me time to have some lunch and get things ready. Same to you, Tiger. playing tennis. I'll just calculate the money you owe me. There you go, mate. What's another beer you huh? Okay. Don't do anything stupid. Want any more drinks? Since you're paying, yeah, another beer. Vodka tonic. Okay, a beer. Mind if I join you? Becky? Shall I knock yourself out? Three beers, thanks. I thought you were in Adelaide. Just got back. Alex was meant to pick me up from the station. Get away. What a help have you been there? So you're in Adelaide for. Business. Right. 
So, uh, how does it all go then? Oh, Doc said that, um, you don't really want to know, do you? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> so, what'd I miss? Actually, we had a hundred head of cattle stolen. Been here for years. Hasn't changed a bit, though. Looking forward to seeing old Jack again. Ah, uh, Sid, we've talked about this. Jack's dead. Is he? Didn't even know he was sick. He owes me a ten of the bastard. Mm. I love calamari. I didn't even know it was frozen. They're professionals, whoever they are. Well, didn't you get out there when you heard the alarm go? That thing goes off all the time, Nick, right? Do you guys want to go and pull? That thing cost a fortune. Alex has filled you in, then. Any word? No sign of the thieves. You're not the only property head. These guys know what they're doing. Probably locals. Well, how many is that now? It's us, Browns, your sheep, right? Oh, we found our sheep. Really? Where? I don't want you in this pub. It's free country, Brian. Cops watching you, you know. It's so. What? Stubby or can? Can't. I have to warn her. How? I think you'll need him now. What was he like? Oh, I don't know. He never used to say that much. He liked a hand of cards. Wasn't much cop at it, but that's why he owes me ten bucks. <laughs> don't you get lonely? Lonely? Yeah, out there by yourself. Oh, lonely's what you get in the city. You know... Sometimes when the moon's out, I sit outside my hut and I watch the kangaroos coming down out of the hills. And they're like families, you know? There's mum and dad and the kids fighting. I've seen things you wouldn't see in town. The stars, Halley's Comet, and that, uh, that spaceship. I was just kidding. I've never seen Halley's Comet. <laughs> <laughs> Got you though, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're lucky they didn't put out a statewide alert or go on the local news. You know, they could have had that poor park ranger arrested. Well, we should get back. Yeah, I've got to get a few things. Hey, boys. I'll have the seafood platter, thanks, Brian. Certainly, Mary. Hey, Mum. What are you lot still doing here? We're having lunch. Mate, mind takeaway? Right. So, how's the new job? Fantastic. Good. Just... Just don't be alone with him, huh? What do you mean? I know what this is about. You want your job back. <laughs> well, you're not having it. I got the job. You left. So rack off. Is there a problem? No.
You won't always have your friends around. Seventy-three. This place had changed. You know, I wouldn't mind having a bath. I, uh, you've already had your bath. Have I? I like that pink bubbly stuff. Uh, I should probably get you back home. Oh, there's no hurry. I thought I might take you up on your offer. Stay a few days. What are you doing? Getting ready for my bath. No, 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 you've had your bath. Have I? Yeah, um, I think we should keep our clothes on. Yeah, oh, I, no. I remember what it was like. What? Living in a house like this. Fridge, electricity. I was married once, you know. But you said, you said, please put your clothes back on. Perhaps a touch more pudding before we get Okay. Those dad's trousers. Now I'm a sheep, Sid. I don't know anything about your sheep, I assure you. If your sheep are disappearing, it's probably the aliens doing it. I've got to get out of here. See off the planet or what? <laughs> At least it looks a bit cleaner this time. Hello. Hi, Terry. Another hour. So, 9.30? Sure. Can't wait. <laughs> Damn. Um... I remember tuna casserole being grey. Tuna's grey, it's grey in the can. <clears throat> you know what, it's great and I'm sure it tastes... Interesting. Okay, that's the bathroom done. So, what's for dinner? was a great cook. No, this isn't bad, Claire. This is, like, beyond bad. I think I miss apricot chicken. The hair will last till then. Bye. Oh, did she have to use every single saucepan? Is that the phone? Yeah. Hey, you're meant to be doing the washing. Hello. Jodie? Oh, I just rang to see that everything was all right. Jodie! 
Uh, yeah, it's fine. Look, Mum, I've got a dash, OK? Bye. I'm coming! Some night. I don't see any pink. There's no pink. <laughs> oh, jeez, Jody, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I was trying to poach them. Well, did you have enough water? You need water? Well, I'm sorry, I only know how to make spaghetti bolognese and I didn't think you'd want to eat that for breakfast. No, 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 that's all right. We'll just start again. Oh. Doesn't Mum usually make the bread at night before she goes to bed? That's okay, we'll have bacon and eggs. I must have used the last of those. Well, we should have more than this. Yeah, I think that's what Meg does when she gets up in the morning. All right, then I'll get the eggs. And uh, don't forget the brown chook that lays in the shearing shed. I had no idea there was so much involved in breakfast. Just clean it up. All right, Miss Chook. Time to give up your egg. Maybe if you just want to stand up for a sec. Okay. <sighs> hey, Becky. Is there anything you want to tell me? I can't think of anything. Later than huh? Later what? Oh no. Sid! He's walked all the way from his shack. It's gotta be 15 k's. He can walk all the way back. It's a sign that he likes us. It's a sign that he's crazy. Morning all. Morning. Right to be. Whoa, thank you. Uh, some of those rams are yours. The one with the pink thingy, I, I'd be getting rid of him. He's not doing his job. Yeah, thanks. See ya. Oh, there's something else. Oh, let me guess. Uh, you need another shirt or maybe another meal. Oh, it's about your boundary fence. What about it? I saw lights there last night. Really? Yeah, flashing on and off in a most strange manner, very unusual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aliens, you mad? These were stockmen on horses. It was that Gary bloke. Bloke used to work here. Why didn't you say that in the first place? We should call the cop. And tell him what? Gary was looking at a fence, arrest him? No, he must have been casing the joint, trying to find the best way in. You heard what Joe said, unless they're caught in the act. So, get him to do a stakeout. <gasps> yeah, I'm sure Joe has nothing better to do with his time than just camp out on the off chance that the thieves will turn up. So you're just going to let Gary help himself? Of course not. This is a stupid plan, Claire. How do we even know they're going to turn up? Besides, it's cold and we can't cook anything. Can because we're bad cooks. No, because we can't even light a fire. I mean, how do you know the thieves are even going to come back? I don't. What are we doing here, then? Gary hates my guts. And he was riding the fence line. He's coming back. I wonder how Mr. Pink's going. Maybe he's got performance anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Pink didn't get a single U. The other Mr. must have gotten first. <laughs> <laughs> was there any pink on the other round? <laughs> I got a message from Terry. He asked me to give it to you personally. So he's been caught up with a mastering. 
can't make it. But he said he'd see you next week. Right. But since you've booked the honeymoon suite, you're entitled to a free bottle of bubbly. <laughs> Not much good to me now, is it? <laughs> it's a bit chilly in here. Is that here to work? Yes, it's fine. Everything else okay? Yep, fine. You're a good looking woman, Mick. If I wasn't a married man, I'd. But you are. It'd be a shame to waste the bubbly. I'll drop back later. Get out of here, Brian. I'll be in the bar if you need me. I can't understand people who steal. I could never do something like that. It's okay if it's payback. Mm. Well, I stole a silver chain from the gun girl and show once. Had my name on it. It was spelt wrong. Haven't you ever pinched anything? Absolutely not. You've never sampled grapes in the fruit shop? Try it before you buy. Never. Never borrowed a skirt or something and just accidentally forgot to give it back? You do not accidentally acquire something. Either it is stolen or it isn't. Really? What about this land then? What? Who are the original owners? Well, it's always been McLeod land. Oh, so the McLeods have been here for 40,000 years, have they? <laughs> I stole a stamp at boarding school. Oh, do go on, Ms. Moral High Ground. Melissa Morgan. Oh, she was a cow. I couldn't stand her. One day she left her stamp collection in the study. I took her prized stamp. The 1972 35-cent beef stamp. So you stole a stamp. <laughs> Nerd crimes don't count, Claire. <laughs> you better not be going to sleep, Jodie. Um, I am on my way. Ow. I don't know that. Stand firm. You can't stop us, McLeod, so get out of the way. Oh, what are you going to do? You're going to shoot us, are you? You're not going anywhere, Gary.
have you all been? Well, we camped out all night. Yeah, and we sprung the duffers big time. You should have seen the looks on their faces. <laughs> Good to have you back, Meg. Yeah, you bet. Did you have a nice time? It was interesting. We had no idea about the bread. The bread? Yeah, yeah, or the eggs. Cooking is such a big job. You're not going away again, are you? Well, maybe not for a while. <laughs> Roy! So, what'll happen to them? Well, they've been charged. Got to wait for the circuit magistrate to get bail. Could be quite a while. Give them a bit of a time to get rid of the pink hair. You're lucky they haven't thought of charging you with assault. Well, it's the only way we knew you'd recognise them. <laughs> there is one other matter. The pool table's gone missing from the Gungallon pub. Brian Cronin seems to have this idea that it might have found its way out here. Here? Why would it be here? Man's an idiot. Did seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> well, you can take a look around. No! I don't think Senior Constable Cook would think that's necessary. No. Yeah, I'd like to clear it up. Where would you like to start? <laughs> Becky? I think you should tell Joe the truth. About Brian. The man's a sleaze. You should report what he did to you. How? Ah, uh, no, there's nothing in here. No, just some old junk and a couple of chooks. Let's go. No, no, I want to do this properly. There's a light. I'll have to tell Brian. Um. I should explain. I'll have to tell him there's no pool table here. Yes. This has to stop. This is stealing. Look, I, I've been, I've been working drovers since before Nam. Man's got to eat. Well, we caught the duffers. Good. What's this? This is to drink with your lamb chops. Ah, I'll share it with Jack next time he calls. Steal something. Steal a key. Party time, boys and girls. Hi, little party Alex, you made it. Hey. Heard you formed a posse. Love work. Yeah, how about that? No security camera, no high tech computer yeah, yeah, system. Yeah. You are kidding me. Uh, 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 hands off, hands <laughs> off. Yeah, well, that won't be possible. We don't have any, Brian. Well, how do you get a pool table and no cues? Oh, forget about the pool cues. How'd you get the pool table here? 
I have my friends. Are we gonna play or what? Go. Go. Break them up. House rules. Right out. And what are they? So much more to me Inside It's hard to be clear Inside Yeah, I feel the fear I'm finding my way I'm finding my way I can do it alone I'm finding my way I'm finding my way But there's so much I'm finding my way